different movie, so it's going to be a different title. Okay, now finally, the choose command. Choose. And I get this thing here, when test. When, and let's use this as a simple example. When there's a movie with this ID, say, this sentence, yep, it's there. But when there's a movie, and let's just choose, let's just grab this again. When there's a movie with uh, MXPER1, then we're going to say, and what did I mess up here? It looks like there's an extra quote there. Notice that, um, oh, I messed the quotes up. Notice that when something's messed up, it gives you little wavy lines and it gives you an indication that you better fix it. Um, and as you're slashing and burning the way I'm doing right now, um, you're likely to make some mistakes. Okay, so condition number one, when we have EXPER, condition number two, when we have EXPER1, then EXPER1 is there. We can put in another one. When we have XXX, then the XXX movie is there. And then we have one final thing we can put in here, and otherwise, otherwise we can say, I didn't, didn't find any of the movies I was looking for. Okay, do you get the idea? The choose allows you to choose among a variety of circumstances. Here's the choose block. Notice I have this little line here that encloses the entire choose block. It consists of a bunch of whens. When this, when that, when the other thing, and then if none of those whens come true, the otherwise comes true. One other thing to note about this is only one of these will um, will evaluate. So if there's an EXPER and an EXPER1, then it's going to do this one and then quit. If there's an EXPER, if there's an XXX, it won't do this one, it won't do this one, it will do this one, and then it won't do this one. Only in the case where there's no EXPER, EXPER1, or XXX, would this very last one um, be executed. Okay, so that's it for the um, uh, for the programming commands that we'll talk about now. Again, there's lots more that we could talk about, but that's enough to get you going. And um, um, I encourage you to pay close attention to the extended demo, because then we'll go into these things one more time and in greater detail, and we'll also begin to go through the process of actually doing a transform.